How's it going, everyone? I'm gonna take a page out of Solemn's book, and uh, I'm gonna play some Hearthstone while telling you guys about some uh, some things that are happening with the channel, as well as my mentality about making uh, recent videos, as well as pretty much what's gonna happen from here on out. Because I feel like I've kind of had like uh, somewhat of a renaissance of uh, or some kind of change of uh, my Hearthstone content and how exactly I want to uh, pursue my uh my ambition moving forward and i just want to like you know just sit down with you guys tell uh, share my thoughts about the meta maybe tell you guys about some cool things that are happening in the future because uh the first thing i'm going to tell you guys about is actually dream hack uh tournaments because that is something that is literally making me want to play more hearthstone and i thought why not just play a game of hearthstone with a deck that i want to show you guys as well as give you guys maybe some kind of informational uh informational context to how i'm progressing with my content as well as um some of the things that i have planned so let's just go ahead and uh jump into jambre druid which i believe is one of the best decks in the meta uh there's actually another deck list that i'm going to show that's also from elefante that jambre has been uh recently praising uh, it's actually got a, a spirit Ghidra in the list so i'm probably going to try it later but for now let's just go into uh the classic D jambre druid that has an insane lady anaconda combo Uh, but essentially what uh, the, what I've been doing with my video content recently is I have been scripting out uh, I've been scripting out like a couple pages and doing voiceovers and then gathering clips and just essentially making jokes the entire time and I believe that these videos are getting a much better response even though my like I'm not really worried about the view count I'm worried about the watch time like the worst thing that you can do as a content creator is make a video and only about like, 10 to 20 percent of people maybe watch it all the way through but if i'm making videos that are you know 40 to some odd minutes long whether that be ooh, really good pickup here uh, whether that be uh making deck spotlights or making you know discussion based content i really feel like i just need to put more effort into my videos and i've been doing this thing recently where i just kind of make a video a day and see what happens and unfortunately i oh my god this is so unlucky Leave it to me to, like, record this, and this is the very first game where I discard the only minion in my deck. Never lucky, guys. Um, but pretty much what I'm saying is that the goal of making a video every single day is not necessarily a good idea for somebody like me if I'm trying to grow. And if that is the case, then I need to put a lot more effort than I have been putting. And it's not to say that, you know, the videos that I've made are bad. It's just really hard to make evergreen Hearthstone content. And unfortunately, I just don't really feel like uh, there's much I can do with that except make my videos better. So instead of making daily videos or making that the goal, if I have, you know, something to make a video on, I will, like, quickly get it done or do what I need to in order to uh, take the steps required, you know, finish whatever projects. Um, but I just believe that, you know, long story short, Quality is better than quantity for somebody at my size on YouTube as much as daily content is cool If a lot of people don't this like the speed duel videos that I put out and it's just it, it's pretty obvious that all I did was just Cut a couple of games together I just feel like it could go in a much better direction if I were to just put a little bit more effort in the right places Okay, so for here, we're just gonna go ahead and make this a little bit easier. He just played an AoE. I don't really know why this is rank 4, by the way. You kind of can't tell, uh, but I am playing in rank. We will see our rank increase or decrease. Um, but moving on to, uh, to other things aside from the YouTube channel, uh, I'm still going to be doing um, I'm still going to be doing deck spotlights, and I'm still going to be doing other like combo videos and interactions. But I'm just going to spend a little bit more time making the videos. So moving on from that, uh, what is going on in the Hearthstone world? We have a bunch of nerfs. We have um, announced tournaments from DreamHack which I believe are really, really awesome. I think this is the, the best thing that you can get into if you're wanting to maybe dip your toes into competitive Hearthstone even a little bit. Okay, so I feel like here I have a couple of options to where I could go for the Scenarian Ward. I'm kind of worried about a Corrupted 4-drop, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just do this because I have faith in the deck. This probably isn't the way to play this turn, but I'm going to backdraw on this. Ooh. All right, okay. Um... Huh. Okay, I never get this, actually. This is pretty cool. I really want to just hero power just to save the HP, but it's probably not a good idea. Okay, well, regardless. Dude, these high rolls and low rolls today. Um, DreamHack is doing a tournament in three different servers. There's the uh, EU server, the uh, Asia server, and the uh, American server, obviously. 
Um, there are, you know, tournaments on different days. So if you want to do all three, I believe that's possible. I'm not 100% sure, but I will read through it and then put the answer right here. <laughs> if uh, if uh, you actually can do that. Um, this is okay. This is pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna go for less and try to get more card draw because we haven't gotten fungal fortunes yet. Oh, never lucky, dude. What the hell? Okay, usually you don't want to do this, but I don't have Anaconda, so it's like I don't have my cheat. This is really unfortunate that I lost the cheat the way that I did. Uh, but yeah, DreamHack Tournaments, it's Last Hero Standing. Um, I really believe that this is a great way to get your uh, to get your feet into uh, competitive Hearthstone if you've never done it. Or if you're somebody that wants to maybe earn a, a spot in the Masters Tour and kind of has an idea for a lineup, I literally just lose here, so we're just going to concede this game. I concede. <laughs> Maybe we don't lose here, but I'm just going to move on for the sake of uh, conversation in the video. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? Now that is wide, guys. But here is some of the information that's pertaining to the actual event. You have, um, you have, yeah, you know, ten thousand dollars in every single tournament that's available. So that's automatically insane. I don't think we've seen this kind of prize money available for quite some time. Like, uh, I, I'm, I, I'm not even really caring about like the amount of money that people can get. But it's just nice as a good incentive that this and a Master Tour spot is available if you do happen to uh, do very well in these tournaments. And here are the here are the days. I'm going to be participating in the Americas uh, in the Americas tournament because unfortunately I have a gig uh, on the 26th and I don't really have cards on my Europe account. Uh, but regardless, that is uh, the tournament information. Uh, I would highly suggest it for anybody, like I've said about three times now, because I this is literally how I got into competitive Hearthstone, and this is quite literally why I'm playing the game right now, trying to get better at these matchups, even though I did concede that last game, but I felt like I got unlucky with the Anaconda, which doesn't happen all too often. And now moving on to the decks that you can play in Hearthstone right now, because... Uh, I really am not the biggest fan of what we have available to use at the moment, if I am being 100% honest. But I would say that every single deck, or at least every single deck that, you know, is good right now, essentially is good because it does its thing very, very well. And in this case, Druid cheats board and cheats out Arbor Up or finds 8 drops or, or, or Anaconda combos. Uh, Mage does Deck of Lunacy and Spell Reduction. Priest dark. does Random, even though it did get right. curbed in its healing a little bit, and that does kind of stop it. But as long as you don't go up against Hyper Aggro, that may not be an issue, but that really is asking a lot in today's meta. So, gonna go ahead and just get some draw here. Uh, it's gotta be less. If it's Anaconda, then boohoo, but at least I get the Anaconda. Nice. Okay, we're at nine cards. Do I have to worry about Scoundrel? I'm going to actively choose not to play around Scandal because I don't feel like they play that anymore. Seeing this card in the deck kind of makes me play want to play differently. Uh, but like, there's Shaman, there's Hunter, like they, everything that is good right now has a direction, and it just goes that direction. And if it loses, it's because it got steered off uh, one way or another. And I'm really not the, the biggest fan brightest. of um, of this meta because of that, because it's very similar to like the Bomb Warrior meta, where it's like, oh, just don't draw bombs, okay. I, I will I will definitely think about think about that next time that I play the game and it's like as cool as these decks are and like as broken as this combo is like good lord look at this and I literally win next turn if he doesn't have an AoE so condemn or bust fun fact this might have been a reason to hold off oh my what knowledge This guy hard runs Voodoo Doctor so he can get Zarella clears. Okay, yeah, that's that that's my opinion of this meta. We're we're done with this video. Yeah, this is more than enough. Dude, this deck is so stupid.
They, like, you started to see what I mean now. You just do your thing, you do it well, and then bam, you just win the game. Even though that guy had more spice, and I think I should have, like, lost after he played that Zarella. Uh, yeah. This is just kind of what the meta is. You do your thing, you scam. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Instead of being a salty baby and having a loss, we're going to go ahead and end it on a high note. So I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video. Feel free to leave a comment below if you do enjoy the style of video. Let me know what you think, and we'll see you for the next video. Thank you.